Alright Fishy folks and happy special edition Saturday video because it's December and the ad rates are more. That's right folks, it's all about the Benjamins for Michael from Michael's Fish Room. Anyway, before we get started in today's spectacular video, go ahead and obliterate that subscription button. Gently boot the notification bell and of course when we're done, check out michaelsfishroom.com. I'm getting a lot of questions about shipping. No, I will not be shipping until after January 1st weather depending. I do have many pending orders for Super Red Bristlenose Plecos. If you would like to get on that list, I suggest you go ahead and buy them now because I don't know when I'm going to have more. Uh, of course, it's going to depend on my Super Red Bristlenose breeding pair doing their thing. All right, fishy folks, in today's special edition video, I'm just going to feed the fish room. Uh, it's about 7.03 in the morning on Saturday morning and uh, today the Plecos are going to get French cut green beans, a whole can in the fish room. Chewy's going to get Excalibur Intense Red to make the, the head of his cock nice and red. Actually, it'll make them all red. <laughs> uh, the Fry are going to get Cobalt Smartemia. Boop! Smartemia. And uh, everybody else well, I guess the adult guppies are going to get the Cobalt Ultra Worm Medley. Uh, also, Hannah and Leia, my Oscars, are going to get uh, North Fin Cichlid Food. And of course, you can buy the Cobalt, the North Fin at supercichlids.com. Use promo code SHIP for free for free shipping. You can buy the Excalibur Intense Red at Excalibur FH.com. There will be a link in the description below as well for that. Uh, so, all right, guys, grab a snack. It's probably not going to be a long video because uh, I'm going to film, but I'm going to make it in fast motion with some cool music, so uh, it'll be cool. And then when we're done, I will uh, come back and we'll chat for a minute. All right, guys? Snack, beverage, stand by. fishy folks I'm gonna go over some tips in a minute about uh, the dry food I feed but uh, here's a can of French cut green beans French style green beans I buy them uh, I guess eight cans at a time at BJ's wholesale club <laughs> um, but I'm sure you can buy them at Costco or Sam's Club or wherever your wholesale club is near you um, it's pretty cheap I did the math once and I think See, now I can't remember. It's like less than 50 cents a can, I believe is what it cost. And I feed a whole can to the fish room at least every other day, sometimes every day. I usually feed them at night because I know the lights are gonna go off soon. Now the lights will go off soon here in about two, two and a half hours. So, you know, they might sit at the bottom of the tank for that long, but it, to me, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, I also overfeed these French cut green beans and that's because I have an auto water change system and I am breeding for profit. If you have, um, you know, a tank with a couple of plecos in it, a, you might buy a can and freeze it and that might last, you know, a couple weeks or so. But, um, <clears throat> so here's what I do. This can is nice. It's got the little flip top. Uh, so I open it. Then there's all that water and gunk in there. I usually do this into the sink, but I'm gonna do it into a bucket just for this video's purposes. Just 
strain on it as much as you can, makes it easier. Careful with the lid, it's got a sharp edge. We don't want to cut yourself. We're all about safety here in Michael's fish room. All right, then I grab a pinch, maybe like, no. For this tank, because there's a lot of breeding going on, I grab a pinch like this much, bloop, drop it in. That's it, that's all I do. You gotta make the noise, bloop, when you drop it in. All right, folks, sit tight. I'm gonna feed the rest of the Pleco tanks and I'll be back. Fish you folks, that's it for for feeding the pluckos. I'll show you in a couple minutes uh, how the pluckos are devouring those those green beans. But let me talk a little bit about flake food. So you know I breed for profit for guppies, and um, I'm lucky in that I have some pretty good sponsors uh, that I can either buy food at wholesale for or um, they give it to me to try. You know that my reviews are pretty honest. If I don't like something, I tell you I don't like something. But if I do like something, I talk about it a lot. It's a good rule of thumb. If you see that I get a new fish food in the fish room, and I'm not talking about it more than like it's just because I'm not happy with it. I don't love it. I do love the Cobalt Smartemia, and I do love these Cobalt Ultra Worm Medley Flakes. But with 55 tanks, feeding flakes, you know, could take a while so what I do is I, I take a bunch a handful if you will a, a, a ginormous pinch I put it in the lid and then I crush it right this way I just gotta as I'm picking up I just you know rub my fingers together and crush it more for the guppies and the guppy babies now here's one thing I don't like about this lid and I don't know if it's this lid or did I jack it up or not but you put the lid on and it comes right off it doesn't like tighten up right like it's stripped it gets tight to a certain point but i can pull it right off so not too happy with that um also i have a north fin bag of fry starter that um the little little zip thing uh came off so i had to put that in a, a ziploc bag but uh those are the you know the things i don't like about certain fish foods i guess not really the food just the packaging um all right so let's i'm gonna grab the camera and I'm going to walk around the fish room and I'm going to show you how the plecos are devouring these French cut green beans. All right, stand by. Are you standing by or are you just like in limbo? No, stand by. Just what's going to happen next? I don't know. All right, fishy folks. Here are the albino bristlenose babies devouring some green beans i took a shot yesterday put it on facebook and instagram of them devouring some kelp wafers from north fin so they like those too uh there was a, one of the big adults but i i think i scared her away when i came over so there's a pleco tank by the way my sunset cobra mosaics had fry looks like over the last day or two i don't know if you can see them it's a little dark over here hey look there i am what a handsome devil uh, yeah, there's a fry. I counted about 20 fry in there, so that's it's pretty nice, pretty happy. Um, plecos, 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 plecos. So there are some ginormous albino bristlenose devouring some um, green beans. Now, this tank kind of has thrown me for a loop because I would expect babies because they're huge and I feed the heck out of them and there's definitely at least a male and a female. But uh, no babies yet, unless they're being eaten by uh, by the snails, which I didn't think would happen. So I gotta check out this tank a little bit better and see what's going on. Here's the calico bristlenose breeding tank with that I put the cribs in. Um, I guess the calicos are kind of hiding right now, maybe until it gets dark. This is a uh, also a bristlenose tank in here. Um, the bristle nose that were in here were in this tank. If you remember, I drilled this tank last video, so they're not coming out yet. But here are some more calico babies eating some green beans. You can see them munching down. In this tank, we have a gibiceps, a sailfin, 
Uh, he was right over there, but I don't know where he went. He's pretty skittish too. He's pretty big. He's gonna go to uh, probably the Bucks County auction. Um, growing them out. Bought them real cheap, gonna grow them out, sell them, hope to make some money. I don't even know what guppies are in here. I mean, I know they're mutt guppies, but I don't remember how I started them. But uh, I probably gotta take them out, which is gonna be a pain in the hiney because all that java moss, it's growing real nice. All right, here are the super reds, guys. You can see them eating and see how they're growing nice. There's about 20 in here, 10 of them are already uh, sold. So if you're looking to get some, you should buy some soon. You can buy them and I'll ship them when it gets warm. You can see there's one in this little PVC cave just chilling all by himself. He's like, yeah, nom, 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 nom. I got a couple, uh, I got that other little cave in there just for them. It's not really for breeding purposes because they're too small, but just to hide out and hang. You might be saying to yourself, why are there two filters in there, Mike? Well, I had that little tiny filter. It's really not tiny, but uh, because there's pleckles in here and they're messy and I overfeed, I wanted a little bit more filtration. That's probably too much filtration, but I don't want to risk anything happen to Super Reds because uh, they're kind of rare and uh, a lot of people want them and they're expensive. So yeah. All right, another Plucko tank. Here's a breeding pair of Super Bristlenose. Super Red Bristlenose. There's the female. I don't see the male. I'm hoping he's in a cave. Oh, is that him in there? Is that a tail? Can't tell if that's a tail or not. I don't really want to scare him, but that's not a tail. Maybe he's in the other cave, which is, you can see it over there. We don't really want to scare him. He might be in there. Um, I've ordered some more caves from one, from a friend. I will be doing an unboxing next week. Uh, to add to this tank, I want them to have as many options as possible. Here are some more chocolate bristle nose. Um, I think they're chocolates. I got them from Mikey, the guy who gave me 50 bucks to let Chewy bite me. Um, eating some green beans. All right. There's some bristle nose in here, not eating. And here we have the long fins also just chilling. I don't see anybody eating right now. There's a long fin though on the glass. Here are some calicos. Luke, Luke, I am your father. Sorry, I had to do that. I don't see them in here, but that's a pretty sweet betta. And then of course the blue eyes just destroying the green beans. All right, that's enough of me walking around rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know what tomorrow's video is gonna be on. Comment below about what you wanna see, and I will leave you with Chewy's cock. fishy folks and happy bonus Saturday video from Michael's fish room today just a <clears throat> that was puberty let's do that again hi fishy folks and happy bonus video Saturday from Michael's fish room you know the drill before we get started go ahead and uh, obliterate that subscription button if you haven't done so already gently boot the subscription bell no not the subscription bell shoot You'd think I would have coffee first, but I haven't yet. The Cobalt Ultra Worm. worm.